Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, out here on the trail this morning. I'll turn around. Out here on the trail, enjoying this beautiful day, this beautiful morning, man. Okay, uh, giving all praises, honor, and glory to our Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, double honors to the apostles and elders. Elder bishops on down from Great Millstone who teach well, taught me this truth. Okay? And peace and many blessings to the hopeful elect of Israel scattered abroad, men, women, and children. And hopefully be saved in these last days from that thermonuclear war. Yeah, man, just uh wanna go for a little walk and talk. I might just walk in a circle because I wanted to sit down on the ground, but it's kind of dewy. You know, you know how it is whenever, uh, you know, the water's still on the top of the ground, you know, it's called dew. You know, it makes me think about the days of Noah, right? You know, <laughs> when it didn't rain, it just, the dew just come from the earth and the water just comes from the earth and water everything. And, uh, <laughs> that even, that makes me want to go into another topic. I mean, we live in. And the days of Noah, all over again, man. You know, and this this uh, Noah's Ark is being built right now through through the Lord's prophets, which are here right now. The same prophets that were of old are here now, and uh, they're building Noah's Ark again, man. They're building that temple, and I seen a video. You know, the elder Karatazak from Vegas did you know about how Israel over there the those those bastards in our land man they're talking about building the third temple or whatever they're building a temple and like it's just ridiculous crazy man you know I'm sure brothers are gonna make all types of videos about it today but how the hell are you building a temple and our Lord's not here how is that even possible you know and and, and you can tell they don't know the scriptures because the temple is us the temple is the men Okay, the temple is the men of the Lord, his elect. The temple of, <laughs> hey, how are you going to build our temple without our permission? You know, just like the scriptures, you know, the, the elder was going into, man. When the heathen sought to help us build the temple. Nah, man, we'd rather build this temple ourselves, which we're doing right now. Okay, and Esau, Edom, so stupid. They're like, a, they're in a fantasy world, man. Like, it, it's just disgusting. They're talking about having an airport an airport in there and all types of stuff man it's just it's just ridiculous stupid like they cannot build our temple <laughs> because we are the temple like that they're, they're so idiotic and it's just it's funny but it's furiating man it's if that's a word it makes you it makes you really it makes you really upset man they're gonna put an airport there so that all the people can come and visit it and and come and worship and like, come on, man. Like, we're not going to have no fucking airports, man. We're going to be flying in chariots, man. You know? And 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 how can you build the temple? They're basically saying, well, where's the Lord at? Where's Yahweh Shai at? If, if, if the temple, <laughs> where's the Lord at, man? If we was in them, that's how you know that they, they think they're in heaven right now, man. They they This is their heaven, man. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked, man. Job 9 and 24. This is their heaven right now, man. And it's our hell. You know? I don't care how much you got in this world. You can have homes and you can have all this. Not, nobody said, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with none of that. But hey, you're living in hell right now. Just think. Those people are trying to build the temple, man. Not knowing that the temple is within us. The temple is the temple of King... The, the, the tabernacle of King David, man. The, the, the men. <laughs> and, and these damn devils... These Ashkenazis, whatever they are, you know, Amalek, pretty much, think that they can build the temple without us, man. <laughs> you know, they over there eating pork, you know, having having all types of Sodom and Gomorrah events. Yeah, man, it's just, it's a crazy world we're living in, man. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here, brothers. But yeah, that's just, you know. 
it's vixen, vixen to the spirit. You know what I'm saying? It's vexing to the spirit, man. Just to to see them over there trying to build our our temple. That's our that's our thing, man. I'm just gonna turn around. It's our thing, man. You see? And I'll tell you one thing: we're getting built up pretty good, man. <laughs> if you look at it as a whole, man, it's just just it's a miracle man it's a miracle how beautiful this temple is man how beautiful the body of Yahweh Shai is man you know the different brothers man the different the different uh you know the scriptures say that to every man was given a certain a different measure of faith you know how different the body is you know, brothers go into history, brothers go into this and that, and <laughs> brothers cursing E out, brothers, <laughs> man, the body is just amazing, man, you know, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's beautiful, man, it's beautiful, it's beautiful to see over the last few years how, how the Lord is working a marvelous work, like you said, I'll work a work in your days. You know that you that you would not believe, man. <laughs> and when you look at it from afar, and you see all the Hebrew Israelite brothers being raised up, man. You know, you know, even in the different camps. You know, I know some camps go off and everything. You know, but this movement, man, this uh, is of the Lord, and 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 it's, it couldn't be of nobody. And guess what? It all it, st it started with the apostles and elders, man, and and their and their apostles and their teachers, man, at one west. Started right here in America, and it's beautiful. How beautiful! How beautiful is the body of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, son, Yahweh Shai, man. How beautiful is the body of Yahweh son, Yahweh Shai, who gave his life for us, man, to build this temple, and we building it. And you look over there, like. You know, they, 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 they're trying to build the temple without us, man. <laughs> they got to uh, import trees and stuff. You know, there's no way you can build our temple, man. But uh, that's just a quick little... <laughs> just thoughts, man. Just thoughts out here on this beautiful day, man. Just out here... You know, praying. Uh, you know, it's still the Sabbath, so, you know... I'm, you know, kind of fasting a little bit, uh, and just trying to get right with the Lord, man, you know, trying to, uh, do my part, man, trying to be able to get on those chariots whenever the Lord starts bringing that destruction, because it's coming, man, <laughs> you know, it's going to come. You know, whether you like it or not, it's going to come. It's going to come. But, uh, you know, just, just, just a few thoughts, you know, how, how they're trying to build the temple over there and how, you know, we are the temple and, you know, how beautiful our temple is, how beautiful the tabernacle of David is, man. How, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing, this, this, this walk of ours and it, and it's hard and it's up and down and, you know, with all types of afflictions and, all types of things, man, you know. But we glory in our afflictions. We glory in our infirmities, man. You know, we glory in these things because, you know, we know the Lord, the Lord is chastising us and, and, and taking us through certain things. And, you know, it's not always as bad as it seems, man, you know, and then it gets better and then it goes back down again. Then it gets better. Then it goes back down again. It's just, <laughs> it's a roller coaster, man, but... At least we know that the Lord loves us, man. Because the Lord said, uh, I forget which scripture, which book it is in, but uh, he says, uh, no, don't despise the chastisement of the Lord, man. You know, every son he receiveth, he scourges, man. You know what I'm saying? Woe to that son that is not chastised, you know. Woe to that son that the Lord don't whoop, you know. 
and we've noticed that I've noticed that in my life you know in my uh and my children you know like I got two daughters you know one of them is my biological one of them is my biological daughter and the other one you know she's my daughter the Lord gave her to me she ain't seen her dad since she was like one and a half two years old man so I, I've been her dad all these years and she's 12 now so you know and she's a really good really good girl man both of them are really good girls man you know because I install fear into them man you know I whoop their ass if I have to you know and and, and they mine and they you know I remember going around people <laughs> and they were like your kids are so good and you know and I'm, I'm like what are you talking about like they they bad as hell but they they, they really are good you know, compared to some of these other bad kids, man, you know. And and that's a blessing from the Lord, man, to have glory in his children, man, you know. Have uh you know, to bring your children up to 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 fear the Lord, man. You know, teach them the name of the Lord. That's a beautiful thing, man, you know. You know, some of these kids growing up and you can just tell from the age they was like five years old that they're gonna be murderers or you know, you can just tell that they're going to be something bad because, you know, they ain't getting no ass whoopings, man. You know, they ain't, they ain't getting nobody's discipline in them. You know? And they're going to grow up to hate their, hate their mothers and fathers, man, because they ain't getting no butt whoopings, man. They don't know what discipline is, man. And then their kids are going to grow up to be bad, and then their kids, and it's going to be an over... A cycle over and over again. See, that's how Esau did us, man. You know, he took the man out of the house and, you know, put the woman on Section 8. And she just thinks she can live free and just breathing in all the free air and the earth. While the man gets to be put down on the very bottom. You know, and everybody hates us, man. The man is the number one enemy of the whole world, man. The black man. The Latino, man. We the number one enemy, man. You blacks, Latino, Native Americans, you, you number one enemy of the world, brothers. Everybody hates you, man. <laughs> they they talk down on you, man. They they force they force people to hate you through their media. You go into that word media, which means medium, and you go into medium, it it means uh, a witch, witchcraft. You know, so they putting spells on you through their media, and they they make the world look at you in a different light, even though you're nothing like that, man. Most of our people are really nice and and humble. You know, especially you black men out there. It's, it's a lot of black men out there that aren't devils, man. That aren't evil like that, man. They, they're, they're really humble brothers, man. And they'd do anything for anybody, man. Just like our Lord. Just like Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, right? They'd do anything for anybody, man. But the world thinks of us as deadbeat dads and... All types of things that we're not, man, you know. We're constantly fighting, trying to prove to the world that we're better than that, man. But they don't give a crap. Now, we're not going to be able to prove it to them, man, you know. Only thing that's going to help is the Lord coming, man. And them seeing that he's a black man like us, a man of color. You know, a brown man, you know. With a huge beard, man, that's austere, that'll whoop somebody's ass, man. Just like us, man. You know, that takes care of, uh, you know, the Heavenly Father, you know. That takes care of his his kids, man, you know. That has care for his young ones. That has care for his children. Just like us, man. You know, the mother tried to keep us away from the kids and shit. <laughs> she tried to keep us away from the kids and shit. You know, that's, that's why they be getting messed up. The Lord be killing them, man. They're taking their ass out. Because cause they, they, they follow Esau, Edom. And they, they'll do anything to get some free money, free rent free this and free that they just been living free for so long man that they forgot that it's a real world out there man they forgot that it's a real world it's a real world out there man you know and the coming times that we're coming into they're going to be woken up man they're going to have to wake up and you know the lord's going to wake them up with a major overthrow a major you know a bunch of these women going to be in the streets man and they're going they're going to be in a bad case man like the scriptures say then heard that it is my enemy, you know, uh, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy God? Because see, a lot of our women, they hate the Lord, man. They hate the Lord. 
You know, they don't like us to talk about God and stuff because they, cause they know they be wrong the things they be doing in their lives, man. They be doing all types of messed up shit, man. <laughs> you know? And uh, I ain't going to go that way. I'm just walking around. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a, I wanted to make this quick, man. Uh, and, you know, the overall message is, hey, hey, the Lord's about to come, man. And all you brothers, man, you got good hearts and you'll do anything for anybody, man. The Lord's looking out for you, man. He's looking out for you, man. You know, people call you crazy or whatever because you don't come to Thanksgivings or, hey, the Lord's looking out for you, man. We're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts and not even care, man, because, hey, <laughs> we're not of this world, brothers, man. Like, even before we came into the truth, a lot of us was outcast anyway. We was, you know, wondering why we can't have conversations with people, wondering why. You know, like we weren't like this or like that. Hey, the Lord made you different for a reason. It's a beautiful thing, too, man. Tabernacle of King David, man. You know, separated from this world. You know, because the world is in darkness and we we in the light, man. The Lord always showed us different things and like different, different little things and separated us from everybody else, man. You know, ever since we were younger, ever since we were children, we'd have different dreams or different experiences than everybody else. And that's the Lord showing you favor, man. You know, showing you that you may be one of his elect. Lord willing. And anyway, with that, man, all praise on and glory to you. How about Shimei was shy? Hey, keep cursing this place down, man. You know, Shalak Rayam to America, DTA. To America and everywhere Esau Edom dwells, man, you know, because in order for us to, we got to speed this thing up, man. We got to get out of here, man. This place is literally, <laughs> it's, it's literally hell, man. Hell is earth, man. Hell is on earth, you know. Like the devil took up uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, into that. I think it's Matthew 4 when he took him up to that high pinnacle and it's like, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the earth. That was the devil telling you, you know, even the Lord knew it already. <laughs> he was telling us through the book that, hey, I, I rule this world, man. You know, he's tempting our Lord. He said, I give you all these kingdoms of the earth if you just bow down to me, man, you know. That's what that's what all these Baal see. It's it's a temple of Baal too, you know, and that's what all these Freemasons and all these people, celebrities, <laughs> all these all these people worship Baal, man. They worship uh, demons, man. They worship uh, Satan, because the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, just like Job nine and twenty four said, man. Yeah, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked for a time, man. But hey, always remember Jacob was holding Esau's heel, man. You know, and, 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 you know, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, man. So just remember that, man. And hey, in your patience, possess ye your souls, man. Let no man take thy crown, man. All praise on and glory to you. How about Shimei? I was shot for that, man. We up next, Shalom.